Hello everyone, I'm Ali Bitron from University of New Mexico. Welcome to the UN Microgrid Atmosphere Soul and Power System Emerging Technologies Laboratory. Because of the support, we were able to maintain this microgrid that has different generation resources. We have a 50 kilowatt PV system, we have a 50 kilowatt, 90 kilowatt hour lead acid battery energy storage system, we have a 240 kilowatt natural gas generator, an 80 kilowatt fuel cell. In addition to that, we have hot and cool thermal storage units and a CHP system. Hi, my name is Ansel Blumenthal. I am a uh, UNM student in the mechanical engineering department and working with Professor Ali Biedrum. Improvements that we did to the facility allowed us to be able to get the natural gas generator running again, the fuel cell ready to get out of hibernation, and the secondary heating operational to be able to feed into the aperture center, both heating and cooling. The fact that we have multiple technologies that incorporate mechanical, electrical, and chemical engineering allows students to really get a wide breadth and a wide scope of what microgrids can be. My name is Rudy Montoya. I am at the University of New Mexico. I am a graduate research assistant under Dr. Ali Bidram in the electrical and computer engineering department. So the Power Systems and Emerging Technologies Lab is located over at the Mesa del Sol microgrid and it is actually in our electrical room. So you're able to work with the simulations on our hardware in the loop system and then you can go ahead and just walk right out the door and you can see actual physical systems that you are simulating you can see them in use so it, it actually ties in the theoretical simulations that you're doing with actual physical systems you can touch power system emerging technology laboratory was sponsored by new mexico smart Grid center it was established in 2019, and the goal of this laboratory is to perform hardware in the loop testing. On the right hand side, you can see our grid simulator. It's a four quart plant, 24 kilowatt grid simulator that enables us to technically emulate a power grid. So it gives us a full flexibility for our hardware in the loop testing platform. Then in the middle, in this black rack, we have our inverters located and also our photovoltaic simulator. Photovoltaic simulator is technically a DC power supply, but it enables us to emulate the behavior of a real photovoltaic panel. We have a, an industry approved inverter on the top. This is a 33 kilowatt inverter. Its DC side is connected to our photovoltaic simulator and its AC side is connected to the grid simulator. Here on this track, we have our real-time digital simulator, our operator. And then we also have the inverter controller. We have a compact wheel for the purpose of uh, implementing the side control systems in, and data gathering, data logging and Raspberry Pis to do control array in the loop testing. This microgrid is a great asset for workforce development in the state of New Mexico. Because of this project, I was able, as a junior faculty that was hired in 2018, I was able to build up my research group, support graduate and undergraduate students, and create preliminary results, which helped me get some more grants, especially from San Diego National Labs, and Department of Energy. During the project, we were able to collaborate with different industry partners like Siemens, Amero Technology, and also National Labs and our local utility PNM. But through the partnership with Siemens, UNM and Siemens are negotiating for Siemens to lease this facility and maintain it. And that could be a very good plan for the sustainability of this microgrid after the project is done.